what is up guys i am loki7 and this is artifact assault in souk and i am joined by a good friend of mine lawn of the dead part of uh, f4 and this is a match both want to work and actually before i get started on this uh gameplay one of the one of uh, the people that are one of the players that are on our team uh guy's name is chug um he had played him maybe two or three times before this match and after er he was on the opposing team every time uh after every match he had something negative to say i'll just say that it was negative um uh, after every match and it was stuff like uh you guys suck and uh, you know you guys only won because of this and you know just a whole bunch of excuses and that was uh, annoying and I mean it's kind of stupid calling uh, telling the people that just beat you again and again and again that they suck because well what does that make you then and you suck even more and this guy was just you know, kept saying stuff like that, and uh, was wasn't pissing me off, but it was just uh, it gets annoying hearing stuff like that. It just sounds stupid. I mean, we beat you, you still say that we suck and all that, and it just makes no sense. And I'm tired of running into, running into uh, players like that because um, I mean, I used to back in like Brotherhood and stuff like that. I would run into players um, and after a match was over win or lose you know they had they had something nice to say or you no know, good game or I'll get you the next one stuff like that and um, like they were motivated not pissed off uh, when the next game came up and that's something that I miss because I rarely find, uh, run into that uh, players like that in ACR and I hope I run into more players like that when AC3 comes out because we all know how negative community has become and um well, he's on our team now and there's nothing that we can do about that matchmaking is random so we had to deal with them for this entire match and well that's fine deal with it this one match get it all worth hopefully he's on the other team and I guess we just keep going now that guy tried to teleport and I got him before managed to teleport and well that takes some guts I mean teleporting without smoke bomb just going in that's you know not a lot of people do that so props to him now I see that Lon has died and uh, kinda of fail at climbing this wall here and it blew my mute because I thought they were rushing in and I managed to get my smoke bomb right as the cooldown ended and I managed to get a double stun off that and this is pretty noobish of me right here I thought I would land on that little wooden beam and use a flower, pant, flower plant thingy that's up there and I didn't uh, felt pretty stupid when that happened and I got knife while I was in the hay bill and I thought my controller had run out of battery or was broken or something like that because I wasn't able to move which confused me badly. Now, uh, we're tied up, so I'm trying to figure out who it is that is uh, right here on the border. Uh, a lot of people like to hide in that hay bale, so I'm always pretty cautious uh, when I try to try and cross. Lawn teleported and got a stun off, but I ended up wasting my smoke there it wasn't necessary so it was a little mistake that I had made I'm looking around and I see that guys come back jump over him and I go for the steal and he knows that I'm going after the artifact and I know that he's coming after me so I'm gonna use my mute stun him and be on my way now what you know since Suk is a pretty small map and um, if you run teleport pretty much able to catch up to anybody uh, you're trying to get like this guy does right now and 
I, I stopped walk. I stopped running. Get out of high profile. That way, the artifact indicator thing above my head doesn't pop up, and he has to actually try to figure out who I am, and that saves me. I managed to get a naked stun and score. So that's something that you guys gotta watch out for if you don't play Artifact Assault a whole bunch. You don't always have that thing up above your head if you're walking it, boss walking it like I do every once in a while. You don't have that indicator above your head. They don't freak out and think that everybody's after you uh, automatically or all the time. I get this done there and I see that this guy is extremely close to me so I'm gonna hop around the other way. I'm gonna have a repeat of what happened a couple of seconds ago. Except I only thought one person was trying to kill me, not two, so I ended up dying. And it's a little funny story. Um, I pronounce moot, mute, moot. I I I have been saying moot uh, my entire life, like you know, moot the TV or something like that. Like you know, I I've, I've always been saying it like that, and I had no idea that I was pronouncing it wrong until I met Lon and Kundar and. Uh, Giz and all them, because they they were surprised. I guess. I mean, the way I say it, I've I've been saying mute for everything. I mean, like I said, mute the TV or something like that. And then they tell me, you know, why do you say it like that? And well, I thought I've been saying it right the whole time, and I am not going to change the way that I pronounce it. I mean, you go your whole life saying it like that. You're not going to change it overnight. So. You ever, you ever run into me in a lobby and you hear me say, "Oh, I got a moot," and we're stun locking? Well, don't look at me like I'm crazy or don't know how to pronounce stuff. <laughs> this is a moot. Got my moot. Now, managed to moot that person and score, so we are tied up. Get a quick kill here. And uh, Suk, since it's a uh, like I said, pretty small map. It's easy to catch up or uh, take the lead, I and mean, especially if you, especially if you have teleport. You so uh, victory is not uh, secured. Never, never assume that uh, you have it. Just if you're just winning by like one or two artifacts, because it's, I mean, it'll, the lead will change pretty quickly. I drop a smoke here, and I try to. Uh, do a little corner stun here on the this guy, and that that actually works for me. I mean, a lot. That stun, I, I get a lot of naked stuns that way. And you, you stun one person, and you pretend that you're running away, and you hide behind a corner, and um, you know, the player assumes that you either that you're running away, so uh, they're not expecting you to still be there and um, punch them. And um, even if they do think that, uh, even if they think that you are there, I mean, I think a lot of times people uh, will move the camera angle around to try to look what's around the corner, and um, that makes your hand come off the uh, square uh, O, uh, and you're not able to get uh, get a stun fast enough to press it. So that's why I get a lot of stuns using that little technique. I right hear a perfectly timed smoke bomb. I get a triple stun and. Uh, time to run away. I was actually trying to use that, I don't know what it's called, that flower, that hanging plant thing. I tried to use that to jump away uh, farther, but I failed, but it uh, doesn't really matter. I still managed to score. So, yeah. And some uh, teammate, Lon, told me that that was a good lock, so. Uh, got the kill, hidden kill, and it grounded. And well, time is running out, and you're tied. Are we gonna win? Are we gonna lose? What's gonna happen here? Let's wait 30 more seconds and we'll see. And I completely uh, fail at using that smoke bomb, but I still managed to get a naked stun, and uh, perfectly timed mute gives me uh, another stun, and I go for the steal, but unfortunately, I am knifed and. Uh, that is it uh, for me during this match. Not enough time to respawn and actually uh, do something. That's the end of the game, and we both—it's a tie. We both lost. We both won. 
four to four. Uh, Juan got a seven K match. I ended up with fourteen K. I don't even know how uh, how that had happened at the time. I was not expecting that at all, and that was a nice surprise. And, um, that is the end of the video, you guys, and um, stay and watch the rest of this video because there is a bonus clip. So, until next time, guys. See ya. Peace. Thirty seconds remaining.